All right, welcome to an absolute nuts video. This is incredible. I'm so excited, as you can probably tell. Anyway, uh, my friend Paul Smuts on Instagram, he had posted this little excerpt here, which I'm just about to read, and I got incredibly excited. Peter Sagan is vegan. It's nuts. But he's not just vegan, he's also high carb, low fat. Look, I recommend a high carb, low fat vegan diet. It's gonna send your performance through the roof. You should be eating a whole plant f foods. Like, it's crazy. Like, all those people bash veganism for so long, and then they're gonna find out Sagan is vegan. He literally has no oil in the diet, not even a little bit when you're cooking. Cut it out. Any fats that you should have should come from whole foods and moderate protein from plant sources only. No eggs, no dairy, no meat. Cut all that filth out. Seriously, your power will go through the roof. It really helps my performance. I can really put down the power, put down the watts. Absolutely insane. I don't think this article like understands that this is incredible, that the best cyclist well, of this generation is vegan is quite insane. Like As you can tell, I am very excited about this. But it's just because people have been abusing it for a long time and like, you know, vegans can't do this, they can't do that. Team Sky was to put their bullshit stuff about eggs and things. But Peter Scan is actually vegan, which is, I guess it's just testament to people actually experimenting and thinking like, hmm, like I should go vegan. Like, you know, dairy's not gonna improve my performance. It's gonna clog up my nose and I'm not gonna feel good. Meat's really hard to digest and my body's gonna be feeling dreadful. I, it just is like really, really good. And I feel like this will hopefully be the spur for a lot of people to decide to go vegan because they'll be like, actually, I wanna get faster on the bike. Actually, I wanna lose weight. And then when you also couple that with the whole ethical side of like, cows are very cute. Why the fuck would you wanna kill a cow? Like, they're just cool. I, it just makes so much more sense. And environmental issues, like after you get past like, once you get on the track of like, oh, maybe I could go vegan, you then just think more broad and broad, and you're just like, yeah, actually, why am I eating like a piece of a dead animal on my plate? Like, there's just zero point in it. So anyway, we have Sagan, he is vegan, high carb, low fat, no oil, so an absolute legend. And then you scroll down, and you just get Nigel Mitchell, you know, said some exciting things, scroll down, and then you're just like, yeah, I'm high carb vegan, Andre Greipel, you're like, fair. I have fair, like, okay, this is pretty crazy. I feel like I'm gonna have to update my um, vegan, like top vegan um, cyclists, because now I got, I missed out uh, Gripal and Sagan. Don't worry about the protein. It's very easy to get enough protein. 75 kilos is my lean body weight. That means I need 127 grams of protein per day, which is achievable. Go vegan, it's perfect recovery. So again, you're, he's, a, he's a big lad, Gripal, really. I mean, he's, no, he's not a bodybuilder, but he's still pretty big and he's vegan. Two vegans here, the legends. Like, it's actually unbelievable scenes. I like, I mean, even Nigel Mitchell, he loves it. I mean, I mean, Nigel Mitchell has some good stuff. Uh, even Garrett Thomas, you know, eat more porridge and rice and training, absolutely classic. Obviously, he's not vegan. Then we've got Chris Froome, loves his eggs. He's a big low carb, to be fair, old Froome dog, but it does seem to work for him. But, I mean, it, the thing is, it's going in the right direction. I feel like, you know, if we've got Sagan and Gripal vegan, that's that's pretty solid. We've also got Cav, even Cav, you know, apparently there's a little, little tough tub sometimes, does does realize that eating red meat is probably not a good thing to do. And then a lot of this is just um, just some training advice from Garrett Thomas, but this is an incredible article. Um, it's got a lot of good stuff. I'm happy they managed to do this. It's like GCN, but even better. So like, even Simon Yates, we've got a little bit of running. I mean, training tips, it's actually very, very useful. But to be honest, I'm just gonna go back because I still just couldn't believe it when he literally was like high carb, low fat, vegan diet. I was just like, mate, he's a legend. He knows what's going on and he wins a lot of world championships. I mean, you feel like there's probably a correlation there. I mean, at the same time, he's unbelievably talented in his own right and no matter almost what he is eating, he's gonna be a hitter. But I mean, he's probably looking for all those gains and he's just like, that's one of them. Like that definitely is. And he's made some gains there. Even Nigel Mitchell is just like, you know, he's always, he's a bit more, He's a bit more vegan friendly these days. But I remember there used to just be a lot of people in the cycling community who are just like, you just can't be vegan, it's just not good. Like, where are you gonna get your amino acids, your essential um, amino acids? It's like, well, they're all there. But now it's just like common. I know a couple other guys, um, I think, who are interested in going vegan. Um, like, it seems from like their Instagram posts and all the rest of it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good news to the world, pretty good news to the animals, um, because more people are gonna go vegan. When they see that Sagan is vegan, they're just like, let's go it. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hope I'll leave there a link to this article because it's absolutely unbelievable. Well, I, I just I just can't believe it. It's, it's just nuts. Um, but anyway, that's enough from me. I've said vegan about 7,000 times in this video and I'll see you in the next one.